Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. As you could see, the wall is bare. So what are we doing? We're going to install the new inverter, which is in there. There it is. But we've decided to relocate the inverter. Um, the first time I installed, it was installed on this wall. And ever since, we've installed on that wall. And it didn't make any sense. So now we're going to recoup some of this room and everything is going to be moved to this wall. So once it's done, I'll show you our well, the inverter mounted, where we located the batteries and our cabling, and then, well, be patient, it's coming. Okay, now, so it's gone on this side of the wall, which I think really looks neater. We need to figure out where to put this box, and then our battery could either be underneath or to the right of, to the right of it. We've not determined what we're going to do, but it's work in progress. I like what I see. So this is what the new setup looks like. We've recovered some space, not quite as much as we'd have liked. But under the circumstances, this is the best we can do. Um, we're tidying up, we're connecting the PV back on. So this is it. We never actually considered what we're doing now. We've been putting it, everything on this side of the wall. Now we've moved it over here. The battery is still where it was before. But the inverter now is no, is no longer on that side of the wall. So, so we're done. As you can see, um, I've moved the location of the inverter. Um, this will tidy up because we can't get the battery monitor to work. We don't know what we did. We prob probably have broken it. We'll find out tomorrow. Our Rico battery is still where it was. Um, we couldn't fit it underneath where the inverter is. Um, what I like about this is look, the screen is in color. Right now, we, there is no sun. It's rained all day. My batteries are definitely discharged. Nothing is running but lights. But look at what you see here. It shows you uh, voltage of, a, of your strings. PV string 1, PV string 2. Total 0.1 kilowatt, 0 0.10 kilowatt hours. Um, PV1 is producing 110 out of 1,800. PV2 is producing 193 out of 2000. And then you can monitor energy by the day, by the month, by the year, and your total numbers. This is pretty impressive. And then you go back here, here's your battery. Um, battery voltage is 52.24. We're putting 254 watts into the battery. I'll go back. Um, grid. There is nothing from the grid. We're not buying, we're not selling. We're not connected to the grid. See, nothing. And then here is my consumption. Right now I'm consuming 23 watts, uh, pushing out 225 volts. I think I could adjust that number. And then here's my energy, it shows you what my, for the day, for the month, for the year. I mean, this is pretty impressive. I'm pretty excited about this. So next thing I'll do is connect the app to get it to do what it needs to do. But right now my battery is at 2.2, which is not good. I need to run my fridge. I need to run my. I need to run my fridge. I need to run my fridge. I need to run my fridge and freezer. So, but producing only 260 watts does not make it possible. It does not make it possible at all. So I'm psyched. Um, yes, we spend the entire day getting this done. I'll lose power by tonight. I might lose power by tonight if I decide to get greedy and power my power hungry devices like my AC my refrigerator and my freezer so here it is here's the new setup i hope you like it tomorrow we'll tidy up figure out why my battery monitor doesn't work um it's work in progress this one this this cable is driving me nuts um actually now i'm looking at it i have a better idea okay i have a better idea how to make it look better talking to you I just figured out how to make it better. Run it in and bring it out up here and then put it in there. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. If you have a comment, post it below. Oh, one last thing. It's the DEYE, D -E -Y -E, 5 kilowatt inverter. Uh, can charge at 120, can discharge at 120 amps. Pretty impressive piece of kit. So let me go back.